Okay, file document new and then the first thing that you're going to do is make the number of pages to two. So right here when you go new document, number of pages, just make that a number two and then hit OK. And if I go to my pages here on the right, if I click on pages, you see that this page right here is above this page. So if I scroll down, you can see that that's where that page is. I want this page to be right next to this page. So if I just move this over and try and put it next to it, it's not going to work. So what I need to do is I need to right click somewhere in this box. So I hit control and then click and then I click on where it says allow document pages to shuffle. Then I click on that. And again, that was just right clicking. So control click and then you'd want to uncheck allow document pages to shuffle. So I want to take this now and I'm going to move it up here. And when I move it up here, you see that little line that gets right there. That's, it's not going to let you do it there, but if I move it over a little bit, notice how you get the little bracket. As soon as you see that bracket, then you let go, and it moves this right next to the other one. Okay, so now I've got my document with two pages right next to each other. And the first thing I want to do is get a general layout. So the nice thing about InDesign is that you can lay everything out ahead of time. So I'm going to first go to my rectangle frame tool and I'm going to make a rectangle where I want a picture. So I'm going to put that there. So that's where a picture is going to go. And then maybe I want another picture. I'll just say I want another one right here. You don't know yet because you're not making it and you can always change it around. But this is something that you know you can mess around with to begin with text box so I go to my text tool I'm gonna to put a text box here at the bottom there's a text box and then I wanna make another text box up here alright and the first thing I wanna do is put a picture in here so I go to my select tool I select this box where I want this picture. I go up to file and then place and then I'm just gonna put this one in there. We already used it. Um, but this one doesn't really, it's a little small. So I am going to fit content to frame. So up in the upper part right here you see this little icon that says fit content to frame. I'm going to click on that and it fits it to the right frame. Only you can see that it's a little bit grainy. For some reason, InDesign is not good with photographs. It just doesn't look good with photographs. It looks grainy. Uh, if at one point, you know, when you actually are publishing this, uh, you can go down to this bottom icon thing here and go to preview mode and if you go to preview mode, eh, that one didn't really work either. Um, generally, let's see which one of this is. Oh, presentation, sorry. So in presentation mode, you can see it and it's not grainy. And I just hit escape to get out of that. And so again, I put my picture in. It doesn't fit right in this box. So I go up to fit content to frame, click on that. Okay, the next thing with pictures, and this is all different than you're used to, is that you click on the little circle. So you click the circle, and once you do that, this becomes sort of a brownish red. And now what I can do is I can move this inside here, make it bigger or smaller. So I hold down the shift key, and I'm making this, let's just say, making it a little bigger. And then I can move this wherever I want to move it in that frame. You're not going to be able to see anything outside of that frame. Notice how that 
just stays within the frame. So I can do all that. All right, now I've got this picture and it's exactly the way I want it, zoomed in, let's just say. And then here down in the text box that I put, so I've got this box and I've got this box. I've got two text box. And there's a little yellow box right here. Let me see here. Oops. Is that not? OK. So one thing that I want to do, I've got two text boxes, but I want them to link to each other. So as soon as you're done writing in this one, it's going to go up to this one up here. So I'm going to link it to this one. You don't want the same writing twice. You want to, when, when you're writing and you're filled up this box, you want it to continue on this box. So that's how this works. So you, I clicked to do that. I clicked on to the uh, right down here in the bottom right. I clicked on it, and then I went up to this box, and I clicked on it. Okay, so now I want to go to my text tool. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to, I'm just going to actually make this bigger so it fills up space just so I can show you what to do here. Okay, so I'm just going to like throw in a bunch of writing here just so you can see. Yeah. So it should, when it's done, go to the next text box. We'll see if it works correctly. Yep, there it goes. Okay, that's what I mean by connecting the text. Okay, so I did all that text. Then what I want out of this, I go to my select tool. I select the text box. And I want to put it into columns. So up here, where it says 1, under this number of columns, I'm going to make that two. And notice that that switched it to two columns. Now I can click on this one. I can do the same thing. I switch that to two columns. So that's how you make things into columns. Now I am going to, let's see, we had another text or a box right here. So I want to put another picture into there. So file and then place, okay, and then I want to just put this guy right here into there. Again, this is a lot bigger than the space that I gave it, so I need to go up to fit content to frame, click on that. And it stretched it out a little bit, so instead of fit content to frame, I'm going to say fill frame proportionally, and now it's done a lot better. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want text to wrap around this picture. So I'm going to move this over here, over the top of this, and I am going to select both of these. So, you know, and I don't know if I need to select both those. Let's see what happens. Right up here it says wrap around object shape so if I click on that yeah so you just put the picture over the top of it and then you click on wrap around object shape which is it's pretty obvious here what that looks like and then your text will wrap around whatever you put into there so you've got that um, if I want to put a background I can go to my layers, and layers work just like your other layers in Illustrator. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to put this layer on the bottom. And then I'm going to lock this layer. And I'm going to make a box that just goes behind everything. And I'm going to color this box color it green and then I go to my gradient feather tool 
and I'm going to just put a simple gradient down like that. So you can put any kind of background you want. All right, I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer. And now I am going to just put some shapes in there. So with your pen tool, it's the same as with Illustrator. Click. I'm just going to click there. Just make a simple triangle shape like that. And then I can fill it in. Just double click on my fill color. Let's make a purple box there. So a lot of these tools are very similar. You can make shapes. You can color them in. Uh, you can put gradients on them. You've got an eyedropper tool. Uh, but that's as far as I'm going to go today. And again, you are creating your own magazine spread about anything that you want. And it just needs to be well-designed uh, captions. One thing I didn't go over, actually, now that I think about it, I didn't put any captions in here. So, you know, you can, oops, I have that layer locked. Um, I'm going to keep this background layer locked. Okay. So if I, I'm going to move this down a little bit. If I wanted to move these around, my arrow keys like that and then maybe you want to put a text box there for your caption and this would be like you know some kind of caption of who this is what's going on you can look at examples and see how they do those and that's pretty much it anybody have any questions okay